Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Mad Dog COTK stream. I am your host for today, and we're going to be building some robots. Continuing my joy of robot building with Mad Dog. Uh, today we're going to be building a robot from my childhood. One of my, one of my favorites. Uh, let's see. Where is, there it is. We're gonna just uh, rename this one and use this spot so that way we don't have to uh, buy another, another bay. So we're gonna be building the Ed 209 from Robocop. All right, let's get in there. And let me go ahead and delete this little guy first. Probably should have did that before I started the stream, but it's easy to delete something in this game. You just hold down that right mouse button and just go to town. There we go. That looks nice. I like it. Ah, the dog sled was a very fun project. I enjoyed that one thoroughly. Still works pretty decently, too. But. Alrighty, um, streams being being kind of quirky again. There we go. Alrighty, guys. Well, since we are, you know, what we're building now, let's go through the list of parts that we'll need to uh, make this build work. So we're gonna be using various uh, cubes of different shapes and sizes. Uh, probably gonna be using the medium cubes and maybe some of the compact cubes just to get a little boost in there I don't think we, we're gonna be using any rods but we'll see just depends uh, we're gonna be using the legs and we're either gonna go with the t4s or the t5s on this because we need something that has a jointed leg to get that proper look. It's not going to look exactly just because of the uh... This is a very uh, unique looking leg for this bot, but the, those are the ones that are going to be the closest. Now for weapons, we're going to be using uh, the front mounted lasers and the side lasers and the missile launchers as well. So... I wonder if I should do Seekers. Might do Seekers. Just depends on how much CPU we have left. Now, I do want to put in a shield module. We'll see if we have room for that or not. It's fairly cheap, so I don't foresee a problem with doing that. But And then uh, hopefully a happy little shield here and there. And I'm pretty sure there's a few cosmetic parts in here that we'll end up using. I'll have to wait to see with some of the final details on this, but without further ado, let's get into it. But we're going to start off with the legs first because we need positioning. Let's see how big these legs are. Yeah, these legs are huge. Okay, let us see about the T-Force. That's a lot more manageable. All right. Don't forget guys, mirror mode is your best friend. Make sure you hit that M button. Alright, we want those as close together as we can because we need to uh, make sure this bot is not ginormous, so. Alrighty, now we're going to need, let's go ahead and start off with some, mm. now I have a feeling with the size we're going to have to just purely stick with the uh, the medium cubes here so let's go ahead and just connect that right there like so all right yeah this tablet i swear it just does not want to stay on i might have to i need my phone today so to have a little reference picture here so that way i can make sure i get this right for you guys there we 
go. Like it. And then we need some curved. Oh. There we go. Looks nice. I like it. Gotta make sure we build that midsection correctly. So we got the curve there now. Now it looks like we're gonna go at least. Well, we need to do the curve section here immediately. Hmm. I'm already foreseeing a slight problem with this. Looks like. Uh, might have he might blow up very easily so or lose his legs very easily but there's not too much we can do about that so unless we yeah let's let's go out one with this sorry guys I just want to make sure that uh, we don't lose our bot immediately as soon as we uh, enter the arena, you know? That would be terrible. That would be terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh. I wonder. It looks like it will let us get away with doing that. And that'll le at least look nice. There we go. I like it. There. Alright. <clears throat> and now let's go ahead and get those curves again. There we go. Looking good. And then we need this piece right here. There we go. There it is. All right. I wonder if I should do that as well. Yeah, I think that'll look nice. Slightly difference in design, but I think that's okay. Oh, yeah. We need to stick with the, the curves there. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. Alright. Now we need to... Curve down. And then curve back up. And then... Two more of these. There we go. All right, and ch -ch -ch -ch. now we can do one more set of this across. And that'll make me feel a little better, giving it a little extra protection or connection, however you want to say that statement. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, uh, let us do these right here as well. And then that way, It has a little extra connection on the front and the back. There we go. And that'll solve one issue for us. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see how it holds up. All right, now that we got the legs pretty much finished, we need to start working on that core. So we're gonna go ahead and make it five thick. Looks like what we need to do. Now, yeah, I need to start coming out. But the problem is, I don't know how far out forward I should go. Maybe one more. 
And then the back part sticks out quite a bit, actually. So... But I think we can get away with starting to go in right there, so... I think that should be good. Now that we have the time to, let's go ahead and add in that shield generator I want, because it's going to need to be hidden by all this, so... Let's say right about there. Let's make it go back one, huh? No, we're going to have to put it right there because we need to be able to encase it. Alright, and now this will determine how thick we need to make the robot. There we go. I like it. It's trying not to be nice. I like it. doing on CPU usage we're still pretty good pretty much got the shape of this and we definitely don't need to go taller than that because if we go taller than that it's gonna it's gonna look funny I think all right we need to go back to that front picture yeah it looks like Let's see. Yeah, I think that's as far out as I want that to go. And then we'll do one more lip out. We need something like that look right now. Maybe if we did this. have to do what I originally thought I was going to have to do, so I need to have one of these there. Make that look somewhat correct. Yeah. And then this will be that nice curvage, like so. Wish. Oh, you know what we could do? We could probably get away with doing that, maybe? Let's see. So it looks like I need to make this one more thick, at least. Otherwise, it's going to look weird. So. Yeah. We have to do it one more thick everywhere, so. Otherwise, it's not going to look right. Xavier, how you doing today? Welcome to the live stream. Let me fix this tablet because it is just not saying anything. There we go. Alright, let us see how 
need to make that bottom edge. Ah, I've got it. Okay, we're gonna use... I'm gonna do that. Just do that, maybe? Hmm. I think I need to go... Okay, this is what we have to do. We have to go up one with this design. Go up. And we need another cube there. And then we can do that. One more time. And then... Cubes here. There we go. Now we get that nice little shape in the front. And then we need to... Do... That. And then we can have the... Round off edge. There. And there, hopefully. Let's see if that looks correct now. How you doing today, Xavier? You doing pretty good? Hmm. Doesn't look right to me. I think we just need to do the one in the center. And then that way we can do all of this. There we go. Alright, now we need to see kind of the side to see how... Okay. So the guns are going to come out of here, basically. So we don't have to worry about making this super... symmetrical or anything, but we do need to worry about... Let's go ahead and slant that in like so. There we go. And then now, we can come out with this like we wanted to. need to take a layer off of that. Yeah. I think it's too much. Yeah. I think it's too much. There we go. And then we need to do that. There we go. I think that'll look good like so. And then... About there, there, and like that. Yeah. I think we'll do one more cube there to make that look proper. And I think that'll work. Now let's just connect these like so. I don't want too many harsh edges. Alright, yeah, that looks about the right length. Yeah, 
I think that's correct. That looks like it'll do it. I guess Xavier came and said hi bye. <laughs> I have not seen him say anything since. And right, we need one more there. Whoops. Whoa. Don't know how that managed to do that, but okay. Slip past that other cube to delete that one. It's kind of hard to see this since it's not the right colors, but. I think that looks close enough. And then we can just have this kind of curved edge here. Let's see if we can get this correct. Actually, I think that was already good like that. And then... has to be this one to get what I'm going for here. Unless this one will work. Hmm. I don't know. That doesn't look right to me. Let's see, what else can we do here? Yeah, there's not much else we can do about that. I guess cone would be the best thing to put there, maybe? Yeah, I think, yeah, that'll work, and then we can do... We can do slants instead. So those will line up nicely. There we go. There we go, that looks better. Okay. And now we can slant this up slightly. And then uh, go out a little bit. We gotta keep in mind we still need to do the arms, so let's not go too terribly crazy with this. Let me go up one more, I think. Let's go in. Nah. Let's just keep the slope going up the side so that way it looks nice. And then that'll be the, the highest it goes. There we go. Alright. Still thinking here we should have put a hover. Maybe we still can. Let me see. Where's that? There it is. Okay. Let's see if we can fit a hover in here, guys. Just in case I lose my legs and uh, I need something. The only problem is it's going to require quite a bit of space, isn't it? Let's see if we can fit at least a... Well, look, T2? No, T1. T1 it is. Alright, and now... Let's get these cubes back in here. I 
wonder if I could fit a... There it is. I knew I could. Alright, there we go. Now we have a alternate form of escape. <laughs> I'm also thinking maybe I ought to switch those to boosters. You know what? I think we will. We should be able to fit some T5 boosters here, so... Those will look correct. They're gonna be ginormous, but they'll look correct at least. Up here we need really wish there were like mini versions of this nice one but come on I'm really having problems with this tablet today I'm really sorry if I'm missing any of y'all's uh, chat but uh, this thing just will not behave for me okay this is what we're gonna do we're going to build this out one more each. And then we can put that other booster on here. I think it's got to be at least the T3s. There we go. Yeah, that looks, that looks better. Alright, now that we have that settled, let's finish building this frame out. I think, I think cutting it off right there would be perfect, so let's just do that. And we need something, yeah, I think that would be the best solution. Bam, bam. 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 Yep. Alright, and now we can do cubes there, there. Uh, need that little corner piece right there. Yeah, I think that's coming out nicely. go and then we'll fix that to this that there we go now now we're cooking with gas there we go all right and another corner there and And let's connect all this. Alright. I think we're leaving just enough room for the weapons. <laughs> uh, I think this is coming out nicely, though. Let's make our final judgment in a, in a second here. And then we need... Ooh. How do I want to handle this? Yeah, I know exactly what to do. We're going to do this, and then we're going to do a slant right there. Bam. A lot taller than I wanted it to be, the head, but, you know. It's got the general shape. I'll admit, it looks a little funky, but, you know. Beggars can't be choosers, so... All right, let's uh, let's build these arms out. So we need at least do f a five thick thing. We 
think one more ought to do it. Alright. And then, uh, like that. There we go, I like it. And now, let's get these nice curved edges. There we go. No, yeah, we'll just go to the edge and just make it like that. So then we can do this number right here. And then make it kind of go straight out from there. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Okay. And then, yeah. That'll work. Okay. So we need to do this. And we need to go out at least that far. Let's see. Yeah. You need to have like the main body uh, stick about right there and then the rest of the laser should fit there. About. that one. Bam. And also, bam. Oh yeah. Loving the way this is coming out. May not have had the main body 100% correct, but that is close enough to where I am very happy with it. Ah, what happened there? <laughs> Rescue the little cube. Just trying to do its own little thing right there. Alright, and then now... Bam. Bam. And yeah, that looks correct to me. Oh yeah. Alright. Now, let's see if we can get the weapons we need on here. So let's... Let's see how big the T4 lasers are. They are quite big, aren't they? Probably won't be able to get the same ones right here, am I? Oh, I might be able to. Let's see. Definitely... Nope. I might have to switch to T3s. Oh, no. Yeah, we're going to switch to T3s. T4s are a little too big for what we're going for here. There we go. Alright. Now let's see what we can do with that one. Bam. Now the guns aren't going to be 100% exact. Ooh. Okay, if we just go one more out with the thing, we can, uh... We can make this work, so let's go out one more. Don't want to go that far out, but we're gonna have to if we want to make these weapons fit. All right. Bam. Bam. Bam and bam. There we go. All right. Let's go back to T4s and see if they fit now that we did that. Let's see. The underneath is the problem child. So let's go. Oh, 
Oh yeah. No matter what, yeah, we gotta we gotta stick with the uh, the T threes. Unfortunately, actually we need the front mounted one first, so we don't accidentally place these other ones wrong. There we go. At least this way we'll have a uh, tier four bot for once for battle. There we go. And now, let's see if we can't get. Ooh, actually, it looks like we can afford the missile launchers. Let's get those instead. Oh, okay. We have to have the cube, or it's not gonna fit. That's okay. We can make this look good though. Like that. Let's let's get these missile launchers on here first. You make sure these are facing the right way too. Yeah, that's correct. All right, and now let's get those cubes there. There, well, there, and then That's what we need. We need this cube right here to go like, yeah, like that. Okay. All right. And then now we can do those. There we go. That'll look correctly now. Bam. I guess we need to do square cubes on both sides there. Oh, no, 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 not the square ones. Uh, there we go. In a round. Bam. And... Bam. And now... Oh, no, no. We need the round one like this. There we go, I like it. to uh, fix that side we forgot to. Let's go and finish this one off though, huh? There we go. Whoa, that is facing the wrong way. These silly little cubes just doing whatever they want. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, that looks, that looks nice. Oh yeah. I know there's not supposed to be lasers on the top, but we might as well put some up there, huh? So, some T3s. There we go. Can't put one here, can we? We can. At least there's three on the main body and then three on each arm, so that should be plenty of firepower. Now let's think about some sort of shield. Happy little shields to go right here. Let's see. 
sorry, front section. What would look good there? Good and correct. Hmm. Maybe something like this? Yeah, it's too big, isn't it? Let's try this smaller versions. There we go, that's the way I need it to face, actually. Hmm. With these just... No, because they don't face the right way. Huh. I did something... This is going to be a challenge and a half, isn't it? Let's see, how much room do I have here? Not a lot, so... What I'm thinking I'm going to have to do is... Probably gonna have to make this a regular regular cube instead of having it nice and roundy. And then we can at least do these little happy shields. There we go. Now, could we do one on each side? Maybe? Perhaps? Why is this game loading so slow? Jeez. Alright. More happy little shields. Bam. Yeah. That will work. Too bad we can't do his legs properly. I would have liked to have like, the little piece coming out the back, but... Eh, it doesn't always happen like that, so. Gotta make some tweaks, because this game does have its limits, so. Alright. Bam, there we go. Alright. I believe we are done here. Looks pretty close, right? That's that's pretty correct. I guess I could make this part in the back a little thicker. We do have the cube room now, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's get rid of these for now. Ooh, can we? Do a triangle in there? Yes, we can. Okay, so at least that will be better. Let's see if we can do that like that, maybe squeeze that in there, no. At least do that. <laughs> yeah, why not? Or even better, if it'll let us. Yeah, that looks good. a lot better and then we can do those cubes out uh, da, 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 da. let's do another pyramid there we go yeah Make 
actually cube and then that. There we go. That looks good. Okay. Last thing I can think of to do, we do that. I think we're done. Alright, let's test it out, make sure that it actually works. <laughs> Do all this hard work and then it doesn't even uh, stay balanced. could make it up there because of the uh, the hover. Need a running start again. Not quite, huh? Okay. like that it doesn't flip over very easily. I think because I positioned that hover in just the right spot, so that was a little bit of uh, dumb luck there, but you know, I'm not going to complain. So we can make it up this one. Cover gives it a little bit more of a jump distance too. So. Yeah. Uh, that's the first time it didn't uh, work right. <laughs> Let's get that paint job correct now. And sorry guys, I'm not going to have time to do a second stream. I will quick just jump briefly in with uh, Cluckin and Bunny just to see how they're doing. But uh, yeah, other than that, we're gonna paint this thing, uh, give it a quick test run with uh, some AIs and call it a stream there, folks. Hmm. I think that was the correct I know we'll do this that kind of stands out and then now do the black we're gonna black top it. Now, the thing I don't know is if it goes all the way to the back. No, it looks like it doesn't. So, what we're gonna do is do that. And then mm, I, 
think I want one too far. Yeah. too far down there. Okay. Yeah, just one layer. Okay. And then... Looks like we do a ring of black. Here? Yeah. Get the rest of that top here. Uh, and then put that cube back. There we go. Just want to make sure when the guns get blown off that it still looks black underneath. So, and then. The missile pack is definitely black, and so are the guns, so the guns will be black. Alright, and... <laughs> Looks like the back part of this is gray. So we'll just... Do a thin line in here. Do this underneath part. Yeah. Shields gray. Shields gray. I know, not a lot of bright colors on this build. Not norm what I normally do, so. Done. Looks done to me. I guess what I could do is color that in gray so it looks dark. Does that look correct? Yeah, kind of does. It blends in a little bit right here, but you know. Yeah. I think we're good. It's like a like a grayish blue. I don't think there's a blue on here that would But I'm gonna have to redo everything. Let's see. No, it's too dark. It's too light. That actually looks correct. Alright, guys, we're gonna have to recolor this again. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. And 
there, 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 and there. These are all gonna be gray. There we go. I guess we can leave those alone now because they'll they look pretty much the right colors. Black weapons. There we go. Black top. There we go. I like it. And then black ring. There we go. Uh, actually, it looks like it's that color. Like right here ish. You know what? Like that. Yeah, that's correct. Doesn't look as smooth as I want to, but like I said, you know, I am limited, so do the best we can. And then uh, place that cube there. Just need a little bit of gray touches over here. Middle. Oops. I mean to hit that. And it's easily changed though. There we go. And I believe we've got it correct now. What do you guys think? Looks good? Does that look like Ed 209? I think it does. Alright. Let's save and go home. All right, Ed 209. Let's see how you do in a battle. Get some water here. Actually, didn't use any cosmetic parts on this one. There's an area where I see I could add some, so I might do that after this. Kill the enemy team to win. The first team to reach the target will win. Together. Woo. Let's see if this hover works. Nice. Oh my 
I can't just go in there by myself, so I need to be a little more cautious. Nice. Well, that one worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. And it's... Are we still considered a T4 robot? I forgot to check. I'm so sorry guys, I don't know why. I'm gonna try something between now and tomorrow and see if I can get that to work so this would work better. Because the Wi-Fi is really far from this room. So the tablet being on the Wi-Fi probably having issues, but I do have a router in there that I need to turn the uh, the Wi-Fi on for it, so that one being closer would probably help the tablet out a lot. Makes it, today it just keeps freezing up, but everybody's already home in the house, so that's another issue I'm having. When everybody's home, the internet just bogs down for me, so. Oh yeah. I think we did a good job. I think we have plenty of time to try a... an actual match with other people so let's just let's just see what what happens uh robocop was one of the first uh, kind of like sci-fi movies i had seen growing up so i absolutely loved robocop and ed 209 because uh, i don't know why i would call him that but i would call him uh doo doo <laughs> so every time robocop was fighting him i was like get him doo doo or blow up doo doo or whatever. <laughs> so, uh, good times, good times. I actually couldn't remember what the actual robot's name was, so I had to look it up because that's all I could remember is me calling him doo doo. So, <laughs> there's another robot that we can uh, make from the second Robocop movie. I just don't know if. I really wish there was some kind of like a chainsaw kind of a, a weapon in this game so I can make him properly. Actually the robot that's displayed in the background right now kind of looks like him a little bit. Hmm, might not be able to play a normal match because uh, I can't find any. <laughs> Of course it was. You know what? I'm going to switch from my tablet for the remainder of the stream back to my phone because at least that will work right for me. That way I don't miss the rest of y'all's comments. <laughs> there we go. All right, there we go. Phone's working right. Uh, Walking Dead. Elimination mode. <laughs> got it. So let's stick toward the back and make sure that we uh, don't get killed. Do we have any? Hmm. 
healers on our team. I see one, two, three, four. So we have four healers, that's good. The battle for Vanguard Tower has begun. would say that was a successful build. And you paid the list. Do I like a robot other than mine? I do like the way that one looks slightly. Yeah. Alrighty guys, uh Ed 209 is a success, so we got pretty much uh, the average kills in the match, so, and uh, didn't die ourselves. I think the shield was a good uh, third item to have included, so. And those lasers aren't as powerful as, you know, the T4s and T5s. Uh, was able to, ooh, nice. Right there, darn. Uh, yeah, they don't have a new. I'm not sure if they're gonna make a new. Uh, replace that one. We already know we won't do that one in time. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is all the time I have for today. Thank you all for joining me on this uh, Joy of Robo building. Hopefully, you enjoyed the build. Uh, hopefully, you uh, built alongside me. Um, and then if you made a variation of this, uh, please, uh, in the description, uh, in the about section on D-Line, uh, go to our Discord and DM me your pics of, uh, your, uh, variations of this or just some of your robots that you've created in this game. I'd love to see them. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time, Sock Underground. D don't forget to join me as we howl at the moon as we leave. Arr -arr 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 -arr